ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس السلام علیکم انٹرپرینشپ کے سلسلے کا آج ہمارا بیسواں لیکچر ہے لیٹ می کو ریلیٹ دا لاسٹ لیکچر جسٹ ٹو ہیو اے ریفرنس فار دا تھنگس وچ وی ور ڈسکسنگ اف یو ریمبر وی ور ڈسکسنگ دا لیگل ایشوز وچ آر فیس بائی این انٹرپرینیو اس میں ہم نے مختلف چیزیں پڑھی اسٹارٹنگ فرام دی کوپریشن اور ان کوپریشن آف اے کمپنی دا ویز فارم انوالومنٹ آف اے لائر ان کریشن آف اے کمپنی then we came to certain uh, subjects which were very important especially uh, with the new era of business like the copyright act patent act the trademark act then intellectual property rights and we also came across the different trade secrets that are the part of some organization and which are some sort of intellectual management side of some entrepreneurship so today again we are discussing the remaining part of that lecture which is uh, with that context is very relevant to our subject the remaining thing uh, which we have today with us although directly related to the legal issues but here we have a very clear line hame yahan se ye fark pata chalna hai ki jab ye sare legal issues khatam ho jate hain and then we are going to start a real business plan after securing ourselves lekin ye nahi ki inke khatam hone ke baad we don't need a lawyer for the rest of our plan lawyer ki jo zarurat hai ya legal help ki jo zarurat hai if it is affordable it is very essential and a very important part of a business plan especially for a new starting entrepreneurship where we have lot of challenges with the new world jaise maine guzarish ki thi ki starting from incorporation of a company up to the taxation then your labor problem then your legislation with the social security acts and then copyright and trademarks and patents and again uh, you have lot of problems which are related to the labor laws and uh, your income tax laws so to have uh, cater for all these problems we have to have a legal help available aaj hum dekhte hain aaiye ki kya usme remaining jo the portions kya the jo reh gaye the and how an entrepreneur should deal with those portions we are here uh, first of all discussing the products safety and liability while we are discussing uh, this chapter or with this topic we are more concerned about the countries who are very conscious about the quality levels although uh, with the signing of wto it is mandatory for the country who are signatory to that agreement ہر ایک جو ہے جو کہ ڈبلو ٹی او کا سگنیٹری ہے اس کی یہ رسپانسبلٹی ہے لیگل کہ وہ سرٹن اسٹینڈرڈس کو فالو کرے کوالٹی کنٹرول کے لیے لیکن اگین میں نے اس دن بھی عرض کیا تھا ڈفرنٹ کنٹریز ہیو ڈفرنٹ اسٹینڈرڈائزیشن اکارڈنگ ٹو دیئر لیونگ اسٹینڈرڈس اف وی کمپیئر دا ایسٹرن یورپین اسٹینڈرڈ اور ہم امیرکا کے اسٹینڈرڈ کو یا ہم افریقہ کے اسٹینڈرڈ کو یا ایون افریقہ کے اندر بھی ساؤتھ اور ایسٹ افریقہ کو پھر ایشین جو مختلف کنٹریز ہیں ان میں اگر ہم نیپال کو بنگلہ دیش کو پاکستان کو انڈیا کو ہم اگر کیٹیگرائز بھی کریں اینڈ دین وی لک ایٹ دی اسٹینڈرڈس آف مینوفیکچرنگ تو آپ کو بڑا ایک واضح فرق نظر آئے گا اسپیشلی سو فار ایز دا ڈومیسٹک مارکیٹ از کنسرن سو ہیئر وین وی آر ڈسکسنگ دس تھنگ دا پروڈکٹ سیفٹی اینڈ لائبلٹی از ون آف دا لیگل کنسرن I must say that it's more towards the western side and this concern is mainly the concern of the established or developed countries here we can talk like this America or France or England or European countries which are higher flying countries or for in Asia you can um, talk about Japan or Korea or Malaysia jahan pe standard of living but tadreej badhta hai wahan pe jo safety or liability ka jo ek concept hai وہ زیادہ سے زیادہ بڑھتا جاتا ہے وقت کے ساتھ ساتھ آئیے اس کو ڈسکس کرتے ہیں ڈیٹیل کے اندر کہ کس طرح سے اس کی لیجسلیشن ہے اور کس طرح سے یہ لیگل ایشو کسی انٹرپرینیور کے اوپر اثر انداز ہوتا ہے امریکہ میں سب سے پہلے وین دس لا واز فارمولیٹڈ اٹ واز ان اینڈ دیر واز اے پروڈکٹ سیفٹی ایک ایکٹ جو تھا کا کنزیومر پروڈکٹ سیفٹی ایکٹ it was uh, established and with that uh, 
a committee was established having the five members or they uh, devised standardization safety standards for 10,000 products. Basically, this law was to save the consumers from the different angles of safety with a product we are attached with the project. That if any of the consumer goods are used, they will not reach any consumer. Their liability is otherwise to the manufacturer. So then this law uh, was uh, in a way become very forceful law. In 1990, it was a very forceful law that was passed in the Congress of the Congress. It was passed in the Congress of the Congress and it became a very powerful law in America. The maximum fine that was under the uh, disagreement to this uh, safety act was 1.25 million dollars. In uh, other case, if you have claims or damages or have some lawsuit or after damages to claim, karne padte hai, uh, they could be of any amount. Here I will give a small example because as I have already discussed in my various lectures that while we are discussing the business studies, it is basically the studies of cases, different cases. We have many examples, many precedents, many case studies. We have seen that the concept of the student is clear in understanding the different aspects of the business strategies and laws. For example, uh, the McDonald's in the history of business, uh, they faced in America the largest penalty for that safety act according to the safety act the coffee which they were giving to the customers it is very hot and a lady unfortunately by accident she has dropped the coffee on her hand and uh, naturally she injured and then she claimed uh, uh, to the McDonald's that they haven't cautioned on the cup that you must take care while handling this cup because the coffee is too hot, it can burn you. So, 10 million dollars, usko jo hai, har jana dena pada, jo ke ek badi rakam hai, takriban 6 crore pe a jo hai, wo ban jata hai, sorry, 60 crore pe ban jata hai. Aur ye, sirf is vaja se, ki unho ne apne cup ke upar, ye nahi likha wa tha, ki this coffee is very hot and it can harm you if, you know, you mishandle it. To us vaks se, phir ye mandatory ho gaya, ki unho ne apne, مثال دینے کا مقصد صرف یہ تھا کہ اس کی تین قسمیں ہیں where you have to be very careful while dealing with the safety liability one is that you have to uh, warranty that آپ کو ایک جو ہے ایک اوپر لکھنا پڑتا ہے caution کرنے پڑتا ہے جی کہ this thing is harmful for you or this thing is injurious to uh, for human consumption or you have to be careful while using this thing or certain precautions which are attached with that thing if you are under the coverage of that written instructions, اگر کوئی اس کو follow نہیں کرتا اور پھر اس کا جو نقصان خدا نہ خواستہ ہو جاتا ہے تو پھر تو جو product کا owner ہے یا manufacturer is not liable for penalties. But if those warranties or the cautions they are not written on the, on the product or on the safety pamphlet or on the safety جو اس کا حصہ ہے جہاں پہ پرکوشن سے دکھی ہوتی ہیں وہاں پہ اگر نہیں ہیں اس کے different interactions تو then it is again uh, you know under the law uh, he is uh, liable for the sue or fine if uh, there is no settlement uh, outside the court. Most of the companies who are the big mover and shakers in the consumer market normally they go for out of law out of court suit settlement because they think that if uh, this thing appeared in the newspaper or in the media, naturally the product is going to have a lot of uh, effect in the public, uh, in the negative side and uh, in order to save that reputation which they have already earned in the market, they try to have an out of court settlement. Then this ugly form is they have to have certain uh, regulations uh, where the product Ingredients are mentioned very clearly and interactions of those ingredients with other chemicals or other human body systems or their effect on uh, your behavior 
لائک میں آپ کو اس کی ایگزامپل دیتا ہوں اسپیشلی وین وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی میڈیسنس ایف ٹی اے وچ از دی فیڈرل ڈگ اتھارٹی آف امیرکا ان کے بڑے سخت اسٹینڈرڈ ہیں فار پریکاشری میئرس اینڈ کلیئرلی دے رائٹ دیٹ دس میڈیکیشن آفٹر دی یوز کین ہیو دیز افیکٹس اس میں ایک لسٹ ہی ہوتی ہے جس میں سم ٹائم دس ہی اوکے ڈیزینیس کین اکر یو کین ہیو انٹرسٹائنل پرابلم ود ایٹ اور ون شوڈ اوائڈ ڈرائیونگ وائل ہی از ٹیکنگ دس ہی از ٹیکنگ دس ڈرگ اور ہی شوڈ ناٹ ہیو سم ادر کائنڈ آف ایکٹیویٹی ورکنگ ود سینسٹیو مشین اور ورکنگ ود ٹول وچ از ویری سینسٹیو ٹو ہینڈل لائک اے پریس اور نمیٹک مشین بیکاز ود دا یوز آف دیٹ ڈرگ یور بہیویئر انٹائر مینٹل بہیویئر دس چینج نارملی ایسی ڈرگس جو سائیکوٹراپک ہوتی ہیں آئی مین ہو کین ہیو افیکٹ آن یور سیکولوجی اور آن دا سیلز آف یور برین دے آر ود سرٹن کوشچنس بٹ اگین ایف ڈی اے کا بھی رول ہے کہ جی انٹریکشن جو ہے ود سرٹن میڈیکیشن آپ کو ضرور لکھنا ہے اف دے آر ریٹن آن دا پفلیٹ وچ از ان سائڈ دی پیکنگ اینڈ ون ہیز ریڈ اٹ اینڈ اف اگین سم تھنگ فار گاڈ فار بٹ از ہیپننگ کمپنی از ناٹ لائبل فار دیٹ پلنٹی اور دیٹ فائن لیکن اگر وہ کوشچنس جو ہیں اور یا پری کوشچنس جو ہیں وہ نہیں لکھی گئیں اور یا کیئر انسٹرکشنس جو ہیں وہ نہیں لکھی گئیں اگین دس تھنگ از اے ویری کامن ود دا ٹوائے کمپنیز ٹوائے کمپنی ون آف دا ایگزامپل وچ ہیو آئی تھنک دا میجر سوز دے آر سفرڈ ان امیرکا امیوزمنٹ پارکس دے آر آلسو ہیونگ اے ویری یو نو بگ نمبر ہو ایز سفرڈ ڈفرینٹ سوز ان آف سوٹ لا سوٹس ان ڈفرینٹ کورٹس بیکاز آف دا سیفٹی ایکٹ کہ کوئی ایسا جو ہے بچوں کے کھیلنے کے ڈیوائس یا کوئی ایسا جو ہے ان کا اکوپمنٹ جو ہے وہ فالٹی ہوا یا اس میں خدا نہ خواستہ شارٹ سرکٹنگ ہوگی پچھلے دنوں میں آپ نے سنا ہوگا دیر واز میری گو راؤنڈ جو کہ ٹوٹا تھا امیرکا میں اور کوئی بچے جو تھے اس سے گرے تھے اینڈ دا کمپنی ہیز ٹو پے لاٹ آف منی ٹو دا سفرز بیکاز آف دی بیڈ کوالٹی آف دی اسٹیل فیبریکیشن اور جو اس کے اندر ایک خاص فورس ہوتی ہے اس کی جو سینٹیفیوگل فورس اور اس کے ساتھ جو ڈفرینٹ اس کے آسپیکٹس تھے سائنٹیفک اس کو ڈیزائن کے اندر وہ نظر انداز کیا گیا بہرحال اس ریلیونٹ بٹ یہاں پہ آ کے دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ تھنگ از دیٹ جو سیفٹی ہے اور ریلائبلٹی ہے یو ہیو ٹو بی ویری کانشیس اباؤٹ دیز لاز وائل انٹروڈیوسنگ دی پروڈکٹ این انٹرپرینیور وائل ہی از آن دا اسٹیجز آف ایشوئنگ اور ایشوئنگ اے بزنس پلان بفور دیٹ ہی ہیز ٹو سی ڈفرینٹ آسپیکٹس آف لیگل سائڈ امنگ دوز ویئر یو ہیو ڈفرینٹ پراپرٹی رائٹس اینڈ انٹلیکچرل پراپرٹی رائٹس اور ٹریڈ مارکس اور پیٹرنس اور ڈفرینٹ تھنگس ہیئر یو ہیو کین آلسو اسٹڈی ود سم کنسلٹنٹ اور ود سم ایکسپرٹ دی سیفٹی اینڈ لائبلٹی آف دیٹ پرٹیکولر تھنگ ہر ایک پروڈکٹ کی جو ہے وہ ڈفرینٹ ڈیمانڈس ہیں اکارڈنگ ٹو دا لوکل لاس دین ہیئر وی ہیو اے میجر کویشچن دیٹ آر دیز یونیورسل لاس آف سیفٹی اور دے ویری فرام کنٹری ٹو کنٹری اور فرام کلچر ٹو کلچر یس دے آر ناٹ یونیورسل لا مے بی ایز اے ایز اے جنرل کنسیڈریشن آف ہیومینٹی دے شوڈ بی دا یونیورسل لا بیکاز ہر ایک بچہ چاہے وہ افریقن ہے یا پاکستانی ہے یا امیرکن ہے بچہ تو ایک بچہ ہے اس اے پریشیس کموڈیٹی بٹ انفارچونیٹلی ڈفرینٹ کنٹریز دے ہیو دے ڈفرینٹ اسٹینڈرڈائزیشن فار دا سیفٹی لاس کہیں پہ جو الیکٹریکل اپلائنسز ہیں مے بی دے آر فار کڈز اور مے بی فار ہیومن کنزمپشن جیسے آپ کی کنزیومر گڈس ہیں گھر کے اندر واشنگ مشینز ہیں یا آپ کی آئرننگ ایڈز ہیں یا ان کی اوونز ہیں یا مختلف مائکرو ویو اوونز ہیں یا اس کے گرائنڈرز ہیں دے شوڈ ہیو ویری ویری سیف ان کی جو ہے وائرنگ یا ان کا جو اسٹرکچر ہے یا ان کا جو سیفٹی ویلو ہیں یا ان کے اندر جو سرکٹ بریکرز لگے ہوتے ہیں بیکاز آف دا فیکٹ دیٹ دے آر کامنلی ان دا یوز آف دا پرسنس ہو آر ناٹ ویری ٹرینڈ ان ہینڈلنگ دی الیکٹریکل تھنگس اس لیے زیادہ اب یہ کلچر ہو گیا ہے 
instead of having direct current, uh, they normally rely on uh, standby battery that uh, chargeable, rechargeable things are having more uh, familiarity with the with the culture because they think that they are more safe. Usme chuke ek safety ka ye hai ke direct current se log baj jate hain. Isliye ap agar bachon ke khilonon mein bhi dekhein, to zyada jo concept hai, wo standby ki jo bajaye ya running electricity ki bajaye. जो रिचार्जेबल कॉन्सेप्ट जो है वो तेजी के साथ जो है सेफ्टी एक्ट में आ रहा है सो अगेन व्हेन वी आर लुकिंग एट द वेरिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स तो डब्ल्यू के अंदर हमने ये देखा है कि जी ओके देयर इज स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन बट दैट स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन इज फॉर पर्टिकुलरली एक्सपोर्ट पर्पजेस या इम्पोर्ट के लिए कि आपने कोई चीज अगर मैन्युफैक्चर की है एंड इट हैज टू बी विद दी आई एस रेगुलेशन it doesn't have any particular particular class that save the a common citizen of a country uh, from these uh, kind of uh, accidents or safety acts which are related with the consumer goods ye local laws ka ek hai jiski jo category hai uska hai aur jo fall karta hai under the category of uh, country law and the country laws naturally they are there are a lot of variation starting from uh, you know the underdeveloped countries or african east african countries to the developed countries uh, like america uh, laws ki jo variation hai it it has a lot of effect because of the living standards because of the per capita income or certain factors socio economic factors isliye yahan pe ये एक चीज आ जाती है कि डब्ल्यू टी ओ के लॉ जो है वो जरूर आई एस ओ के या दूसरे स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन जो है इवन इन फाइटो सैनिटरी और फाइटो स्टैंडर्ड्स में जो आ जाते हैं ये सारे ऑर्गेनिक स्टैंडर्ड्स जो हैं लेकिन जो कंज्यूमर गुड्स हैं इनका इस्तेमाल एंड द रिलेटेड सेफ्टी एक्ट विद दैट इज टोटली इन हाउस मैटर फॉर अ कंट्री सो दे वेरी फ्रॉम कंट्री टू कंट्री वी हैव दिस प्रॉब्लम that uh, when an entrepreneur is having a new venture he should have a legal uh, opinion about the precautions which he has to write on his product and for that he has to first of all define that what category uh, he is falling in either it's a consumer goods or mechanical part or he is manufacturing it for some uh, concern as a vendor or he is manufacturing it for some uh, बिग फैक्ट्री एज ए स्मॉल यूनिट टू जस्ट गिव अ स्पोर्ट और मर्चेंडाइजिंग कर रहा है किसी बड़े यूनिट के लिए और इट्स स्टेट कंज्यूमर गुड फॉर द नॉर्मल पीपल तो अगेन यहां पे डिपेंड करता है फ्रॉम प्रोडक्ट टू प्रोडक्ट तो दिस लीगल इश्यूज ऑफ फॉर इंपॉर्टेंस स्पेशली वाइल वी आर कंसिडरिंग देल्प ऑफ अ लॉयर और लीगल जो एक्सपर्ट्स और कंसल्टेंट्स की बिफोर गोइंग फॉर अ business plan and considering the legal issues which are related to an entrepreneurial project or an entrepreneurial program next hum dekhte hain ji isme hamare paas kya hai that is the insurance in the west or even in our country insurance ka jo hai is totally a change of culture ek bilkul jo hai usne scenario business ka jo hai wo change kar diya hai we have different uh, scenarios in insurance and how it protects द बोथ साइड उसको हमने डिस्कस करना है स्पेशली जब हम बात करते हैं इंश्योरेंस की एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट सेक्टर लेट स्टार्ट इट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर बिकॉज वी आर डिस्कसिंग द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और बिजनेस और ट्रेडिंग वेयर वी हैव टिपिकली एन एंटरप्रेन्योरल स्पिरिट इन वर्ल्ड एंड वैन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एंटरप्रेन्योरल स्पिरिट इट मीन्स दैट मैं भी इससे सर्विसेज कंसर्न और इट्स ए मैनुफैक्चरिंग कंसर्न और इट इज सम इंडस्ट्री विच इज इन्वॉल्व विद सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग और जॉब लाइक दैट वी नो दैट टूडेज वर्ल्ड स्पेशली इन द बेस्ट द मेडिकल कॉस्ट और द ट्रीटमेंट कास्ट दे आर इंक्रीजिंग लाइक एनी थिंग एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मेडिकल इंश्योरेंस इज हैविंग वेरी यू नो Uh, they are everywhere especially now even in pakistan uh, if we look at the multinational companies or even the good local companies they have this concept for their labor or for their working force that they should have an health coverage 
although we have the social security laws available here which are uh, giving uh, essential support medical support to a labor that he can have a social security hospital where he can go for treatment and we have very good in pakistan very good setup for the social security hospital but again uh, in western countries uh, where we do have simultaneously both things uh, where we have social security but at the same time we also have the medical insurance because certain things which are not covered like accidents or uh, god forbid loss of some um, organ or loss of some uh, vital uh, part of the body accidentally or in uh, god forbid case of sudden death uh, accidental death uh, in industrial operations company always thinks that he has to he has to have two things first of all they have to save their their, their self from the liability direct financial liability and they want to transfer it to the third party uh, secondly at the same time simultaneously they want to compensate the sufferer for the, for the loss iske liye kaise hai ji ki normally insurance jo hai it is considered to be a third party uh, risk ki aap ek certain premium jo hai wo pay karte hain kisi risk ke liye to an insurance company an insurance company uh, again they work on the possibilities of happening or non happening ke kisi bhi cheez ke chances kya hain waqoof azir hone ke they also work very mathematically okay uh, ke ji ye cheeze jo hain inke hone ke ya ya na hone ke jaise hum ye kehte hain ji ke okay uh, fire insurance hai for uh, industry they will definitely have their own scores that how many industries in a year having the same product have already suffered this accident to bada score negligible sa aayega so to the day they work on probability principle ki probability kya hai kisi cheez ke hone ki isi tarah like medical insurance we again have uh, the group insurance uh, which is very common in uh, the industrial sector and entrepreneur should have uh, this issue all, uh, all already uh, with this plan ke ji uh, normally it is uh, with the people who are working in an organization aur wahan pe jo unki uh, group insurance hai as a whole uh, company wo uh, hoti hai teesri qisam ki jo insurance hai wo it's it's very common and uh, that is the uh, against fire or against some loss or against some uh, uh, you know uh, force majeure ke against koi khuda na khasta koi uh, aisi naghani aafat ke against जो है वो कराई जाती है दीज आर दी यू नो डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन शील्ड विच यू कैन प्रोबेबली हैव टू सेव योर सेल्फ जैसे अगर कंपनी ने दे हैव गिवन कार्ड टू देयर एम्प्लॉयज एंड यू नो अ कार इन पाकिस्तान इट डज कास्ट लॉट ऑफ मनी टू बाय अ न्यू कार सो दे मे पे इंश्योरेंस टू कंपनी प्रीमियम इंश्योरेंस एंड when it is god forbid have some accident or it's a total loss or it has partial loss or it's in case of theft company has to compensate you for the cost to ek kisam ka safety mechanism hai entrepreneur ke liye insurance jo hai isliye isko bhi legal issues ke andar ek bahut badi ahmiyat aur important jo hai wo aspect iska jo hai wo consider karna chahiye and uh, there are certain uh, advisors or consultants available who appearly give you advice based upon your insurance structure and what type of insurance what type of premium they will guide you properly so yahan pe ye bhi issue jo hai entrepreneurial legal issues mein khasa important issue hai aur isko bhi one must consider while he is going for a business plan and considering the legal issues next time dekhte hain ji what we have next uh, thing which is very important and which is part of a very important part of any business transaction or any business procedure or any business project and uh, one entrepreneur must have uh, a very wise legal opinion while having this content of his legal issues wo hain ji contracts contracts it's a legal binding between two parties any enforceable agreement or any enforceable by law अगर कोई कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कोई अग्रीमेंट दो पार्टी के दरमियान है तो हम उसको जो है लीगल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट का नाम देंगे ओके 
we we have different uh, type of uh, contracts available uh, with us we have contract first of all when uh, entrepreneur will start his business maybe as a startup uh, he will have uh, first of all a contract with his uh, suppliers or maybe the person from whom he is purchased the site for the company then he will be having the machinery suppliers then he will be having the raw material suppliers then will he will be having people who are working in the market for him maybe uh, there are certain issues related with the security advanced security or uh, there are certain problems uh, with the with the relation to uh, the distribution rights and for that he has to have the security money again uh, the major sector in contracts is the banking sector or persons who are involved with the venture capital the people who are investors and giving money to the entrepreneur especially jo banking sector hai leasing sector hai underwriting ka hai if it's a public listed company or agar hum uh, private limited company ki baat karte hain to even then uh, if it is uh, 100% uh, equity based company uh, case is different but again there are lot of contracts between the shareholders and uh, the external parties and there are two sides of that one is as a company to another party and there is inter company contracts always between the shareholders that how they are going to distribute their profits and what are the liabilities of directors what are the duties of directors how much money they can draw their monthly salaries the compensation then uh, uh, some dumping fund for you know contingencies and uh, the act of force major and different things are there we uh, if look at the law in america where we have uh, we, we we call them the masters of the corporate world uh, they say that uh, according to the law that if you have a uh, bargaining which exceeds $500 you have to have a legal legally enforceable contract for that written by a qualified person normally just maine guzarish ki thi that three type of people are available the big companies or like the multinationals they have in house system of the lawyers which are available with them and they always have a standardization of agreements or contracts which are the part of their system legal system second is the sometime you have the retainership of the lawyers that you pay them monthly as a retainer fee and uh, they are there for writing your things maybe they are sitting idle for uh, two months or three months and maybe they have lot of work coming but they will have to get the permanent retainership or tisra jo or the best was that it's from case to case basis that you hire a person and there are again different type of lawyers who are specialized uh, for trademarks you have maybe a different lawyer for corporate affairs you may have a different lawyer and especially related with the banking agreements and banking affairs underwriting public issues you totally have the different specialized kind of lawyer to maine jaise guzarish ki thi apne ek gudashta lecture mein even lawyers have like doctors and other engineers they have specialties and uh, now they are so open in the western world that they have even categorized the fee structure according to the jobs and they are more uh, open towards work yahan pe aake contract jo hai uski ahmiyat bahut zyada hai first of all uh, when you start a company to entrepreneur ko contract ki ahmiyat ka andaza is baat se ho jata hai that your first first step is to have the incorporation of a company if it's a proprietorship owned by a single person okay it's all right but if it's a partnership concern you have to have the first contract between the partners certain obligations certain you know profitability sharing risk sharing then your equity contribution in case of bank the liability considerations then heritage problem that who will be the next person to uh, you know take care if uh, god forbid something happened wrong with the owners then management affairs marketing affairs second portion is again uh, with an entrepreneur is uh, the if he is going for uh, financing like is going for a bank financing then uh, he has to have a debt equity structure where again partnership will have a contract for their equity contribution and they have to have a enforceable equity contribution contract among themselves 
then there are different contracts between bank and the person who's uh, running a new business and going for the financing in case the bank say yes you have the mortgage contracts then you have the uh, charge flourishing contracts then you have the contracts for your uh, uh, personal guarantees and then uh, certain uh, other uh, banking issues they are all have in a certain language legal language and you have to have a uh, enforceable uh, contract if signed it should be uh, rectified or should be filtered through a competent lawyer who specialized in that field the second kind of contracts is with your normally people who are working with your organization maybe your material suppliers you have to have a very safe supply line for uh, your const- continuous operations and for that purpose you have to have normally a contract with the suppliers that okay they are bound to pay uh, you uh, you are bound to pay the money but against that they are bound to pay you in time different type of uh, the commodities or supply you the different materials or even uh, in some cases if the shipments they are coming from the other countries it is an uh, import based raw material then the things are more uh, sensitive because uh, so many uh, force majeure factors are involved into it and then again uh, there are certain contracts which are with your marketing people like you, if you have a distribution network you have to have certain goals or certain targets which are to be achieved by your distributors or your retailer network networking which is under your distribution act usko jo hai aapne cover karna hota hai different contracts ke zariye se and while you are having uh, endorsement of these contracts or framing of these contracts you have to have a lawyer who is a professional to write that certain contract for you aur isme ye koshish karni chahiye ki it should give a very uh, good uh, security on both sides and uh, or lock of country jo hai usko madh nazar rakha jaye और डिफरेंट जो क्लासेस हैं लाइक फोर्स मेजोर की या इन्फोर्समेंट की जो जो क्लासेस हैं या कंटेंजेंसीज की जो हैं उनको जरूर मलहूज खातर रखा जाए जब कोई एक अच्छा कॉन्ट्रैक्ट जो है वो साइन किया जाता है स्टूडेंट्स हेयर वी हैव सीन दैट वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट डिस्कस्ड द टोटल आस्पेक्ट ऑफ लीगल इशू साइड ऑफ दंटरप्रनोरशिप उसमें क्या क्या हमें मुश्किल पेश आ सकती हैं वी स्टार्टेड विद दंसीवमेंट एंड आइडिया किस तरह एक आइडिया को कंसीव करता है वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस द अनकैपिंग ऑफ द इंटलेक्चुअल थाट्स एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ इस इंटलेक्चुअल कैपेबलिटीज क्या क्या वो प्रोसीजर्स हैं जिनसे उसकी जो है मेंटल कैपेबलिटीज को आप अनकैप करके उसको ज्यादा यूटिलाइज कर सकते हैं एंड देन After conceivement of an idea, जब वो फर्म हो जाता है कि ओके आई है डू दिस वी कंसिडर द लीगल इशूज के उसको क्या क्या लीगल इशूज जो है वो पेश आ सकते हैं एंटरप्रन्योर को नाउ आफ्टर ऑल दिस दैट ही हैज डिसाइडेड अबाउट एंड ही इज फर्म अबाउट मैनुफैक्चरिंग और स्टार्टिंग और सर्विसिंग और इन एनी एरिया ऑफ बिजनेस ही हैज टू नो लुक एट द प्रैक्टिकल साइड after looking at the legal issues get that how to start it and here we have a basic point that while we are starting a business or while an entrepreneur is starting a business after these procedures which is the thought process or achievement process or idea conceivement process and the legal filtration process ki kis tarah se usko agla jo step hai uske andar aana hai let's discuss it ki ji what is the next step which is the part of this entrepreneurial process throughout the world mostly if not throughout the world mostly in the business world jahan pe corporate structure jo hai wo exist karta hai what next we have it is the business plan creating and starting the venture while coming to the business plan i must uh, define it for you or must uh, tell you the main idea of business plan what it is about इसका कॉन्सेप्ट क्या है किस लिए इसको बनाया जाता है इसके लिए स्ट्रेटजी क्या है इसका मकसद क्या है और बेसिकली किस तरह से इसको तैयार किया जाता है 
it's a very uh, good example uh, I can give you. Say uh, you are traveling on a road. आपने एक A point से B point पे पहुंचना है. सफर करके while you are driving something and uh, you know that I have to I am on A point and I have to go on point B. And here you have different questions. Which vehicle I am going to have, which way I am going to adopt, either it will be a direct road or I will have a motorway road or I will have sub-branches road, where you have more comfort, where you have more uh, driving tension or less driving tension, uh, petrol kahan pe kam kharch hota hai, what are the facilities available during uh, that route, or oh, I am talking about a pure uh, route where you have a longer session of uh, traveling. Say, you have to drive 32 hours or 40 hours, you may be going to the northern areas. Then you have to have certain things, okay, uh, what could be the possibilities of accident, for God forbid, uh, tire puncture, ho sakta hai, gaadi kharaab ho sakti hai, petrol ki shortage ho sakti hai. Do we have sufficient uh, availability of spare parts for the vehicle we are taking with or we have the sufficient uh, petrol stations on the way uh, who can uh, give us the uh, fuel for our journey, rest of the journey, then you can maybe have the kids with you or something happen with uh, some person, maybe uh, God forbid some sort of uh, diarrhea or any problem with the health, you should consider that there is health facility available on the way or if you have a break there, you should see that there are different places available, motels or hotels where you can have a safety or you can have a comfortable night stay and leave early in the morning. And finally, when uh, you are arrived at point B from point A, you will then link up the things that while you were starting the journey, so many things were apprehensions were in your mind. And then you accordingly planned that, okay, I will use this route and this route has the petrol pumps or I will use the extra fuel uh, tank with the, with my jeep or with my car or I will have uh, extra medicines with me or I have to follow the route which has which has more populous and uh, we can have the facilities of uh, you know accidental emergencies uh, compensation you can have uh, like workshops in between you can have small clinics in between bilkul jo hai business plan isi pattern pe chalta hai a typical entrepreneur, while he's having a business plan, he is just like traveling on the road and planning to be point from point A to B, and he's considering the different emergencies, different facilities, different contingencies, and different things which can happen on that road. Bilkul isi tarah se aap ek business plan ko chalate hain. While you are starting a major venture, maybe, or a small venture, or a medium-sized venture, even for starting from a retailing store up to a company which is a big manufacturing concern, you have to have a plan, a business plan, according to the size of the business. That is basically the way that leads you to the success, or aapko ye pata chalta hai that what kind of resources you will be having with you from your own side, what kind of resources you have to get from the market, what is the probable feasibility, because feasibility is a very essential part of uh, an agreement or an uh, business plan, ki ji aapke liye feasibility jo hai, wo bana ke aapko ye pata chal jata hai, hypothetically and certain projections bilkul usme hoti hai, assumptions bhi hoti hai, but assumptions they are on certain parameters, which are fixed parameters. Hote hai. You have you can have uh, run at least for three years your profit projections. Ke ji, mujhe teen saal mein kitna nafa ya nuksan hoga. Fir usme ye hai ki you can also have your break in even analysis. Ke ji, aapko uh, kahan pe aake aapki jo cost hai, uh, wo equalize hoti hai. Aapke akhrajat jo hain, wo aur aapki jo amdani hai, wo brabar kahan pe hote hai, aur kahan se aapka jo hai profit point start hota hai. Then you have to have a certain presentation in your plan that uh, if you are going to have some loan from somebody or you are inviting some equity holders into it or stakeholders into it, 
they will definitely look at you and see okay what you have to uh, present to us different purposes hain usme planning hai usme safety hai usme you are going for uh, bankers or you are going for your even marketing people who will market the things for you or even for your consumers uh, you have to have a business plan business plan ki presentation us, usko banana uski different jo categories hain unka khayal rakhna uske contents ka khayal rakhna it's a full art and it's a very sensitive part in the sense that kisi bhi business ki kamyabi ya nakami jo hai wo is pe depend karti hai that how mature is your business plan especially while you are going to the people who are the stakeholders in your venture especially the people who are the bankers the people who are maybe the external equity holders or venture capitalists they will not having anything other than the assumptions or a certain a plan ke jo aapko assume karwane pe karta hai ji ke ji isme mujhe ye probability ho sakti hai for any profit or any loss so while keeping uh, all these things in mind that you have uh, plan for the investment people you have plan for the marketing people you have plan for your machinery suppliers you have even plan for your consumers so how good you are in having a plan you must think this that it is not the work of a person who just have a uh, single uh, handed people ek bande ka ye kaam nahi hai jo ek single mind ke sath isko banaye you have to have wherever you need the help of different external resources usme consultants aate hain usme you can have the media like internet where you have different sites available where you can have the segment study or uh, demographic study of the consumer or geographical studies आपको अगर फाइनेंशियल एनालिसिस करवाने हैं इफ यू आर पर्सनली आर नॉट एबल टू डू दैट यू ऑलवेज हैव अ फाइनेंशियल एनालिस्ट विद यू हु कैन डन मॉडल्स फॉर योर बिजनेस या ब्रेक इवन एनालिसिस या आपकी जो बैलेंस शीट उसने बनानी है या उसने जो आपका स्ट्रक्चर निकालना है फाइनेंशियल उसके लिए देन अगेन फॉर फिजिबिलिटी स्टडीज इट इज अगेन अ वेरी प्रोफेशनल जॉब यू नीड लॉट ऑफ पीपल external people who will give their input in terms of uh, the technical things machinery requirements the technological uh, requirements that what kind of machinery you use and then the life of the machinery okay that uh, you may not have a very short term of your uh, your product and uh, maybe market is very hyper competitive and you at the end of the day after 3 or 4 years have a new product uh, in your uh, competition and that can lead you to the failure so aapke jo consultants hain for the machinery for the fabrication erection they should very very learned people that can tell you and they should not have the myopia for 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 their marketing and for their manufacturing things they should have uh, the uh, future ko jo dekhen ki ji kya life of the project kya hai then isme phir ek jo bahut important cheez aa jati hai वो ये है जी कि वट अट्रैक्शन यू हैव इन दैट बिजनेस प्लान फॉर द पीपल हु आर वुड बी स्टेक होल्डर्स नॉर्मली वेन यू रिप्रेजेंट योर थिंग्स टू इंस्टीट्यूशन और टू अ पर्सन और ग्रुप ऑफ पर्सन हु आर द स्टेक होल्डर्स तो आपके पास कुछ ज्यादा टाइम नहीं होता if it's a verbal uh, presentation uh, maybe you have 30 or 40 minutes or us 30 or 40 minutes mein jis aadmi ne stakeholder ne aapki baat sunni hi hai he has to decide there and then what to do his orientation will be in the first 10 to 15 minutes he will i will either say that okay it's worth listening for the next 20 minutes or maybe it's not worth listening even for the next 20 minutes bilkul इसके मिसाल इसी तरह दैट इफ यू हैव अ पर्सन हु इज फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड फ्लोर स्टार्टिंग हिज जर्नी विद यू ऑन द लेफ्ट एंड यू बोथ हैव टू गो टू द ट्वेंटी स्टोरी एंड मे बी यू हैव दैट टाइम दैट ओके वेन ट्वेंटी स्टोरी विल बी देयर योर कन्वर्सेशन विल बी फिनिश विद दैट पर्सन सेम बिजनेस प्लान में होता है वेल यू आर प्रेजेंटिंग इट टू अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल स्पेशली हुर बैंकर्स और हुर मैनुफैक्चर और हुर 
स्टेक होल्डर्स या वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट हैं या जिन्होंने एक्विटी कंट्रीब्यूशन करनी है या अंडर राइटर हैं इन केस ऑफ अ कंपनी विच से लिस्टेड कंपनी देन यू हैव अ वेरी लिमिटेड टाइम एंड यू शुड हैव वेरी क्रिटिकल क्वेश्चंस विच कम फ्रॉम द अपोजिट साइड तो देयर योर प्लान शुड बी सो गुड एंड फोर्टलेस दैट देयर एंड देन पीपल शुड डिसाइड दैट ओके लेट इट बी लाइक दिस दैट वी शुड हैव अ हैंड शेक और वही जो आपके पास जो प्रजेंटेशन के तीस या चालीस मिनट होते हैं दे आर दी बेस और दे आर दी लोकस ऑफ योर प्लान हमने देखना है कि वो क्या क्या चीजें हैं वो क्या क्या फैक्टर्स हैं वो क्या क्या इन्ग्रीडियंट्स हैं विच यू इफ यू मेक दैम द पार्ट ऑफ योर प्लान अकॉर्डिंगली तो इट कुड बी ए सक्सेसफुल प्लान और उसके ऊपर जो है You can uh, at least uh, people they can uh, finance you, or if it's it's an equity contribution or uh, venture capital, which is ज़्यादा मुश्किल है financing के इस बात उसमें financial risk ज़्यादा है. Maybe they have more uh, observant or more keen to look at the things. तो इस तरह से आपको मुख्तलिफ जो लोग हैं, उनकी जो input है और output है उसको मिला के आपने plan बनाना है. Let's see. That what are the different uh, components or ingredients of a business plan, or किस तरह से according भी आपने उसको देखना है. We have a planning as part of the business operation. Why uh, the planning is the part of the business operation? Because that's the basic foundation where you start your business. बिल्कुल इसी तरह से है. आपने first step जो है वो कहाँ से लेना है? If you uh, are uh, even starting a retailing store, you should have uh, your market that the consumer जो हैं उसमें आपको मैं एक case study, एक very small case study मैं आपको बताता हूँ कि जी किस तरह से orientation जो है वो बनती है. In the first case study, we have a very minor case, site, location, उसकी identification for a retail store. It's, it's a very minor problem in a in a complex business plan, but you will see that uh, while choosing a site for a retail store, how precise or how good you have to be because of uh, the unexpected uh, problems. In Boston, ke andar, there was a very area, a very rushy area, jahan pe bahut sara rush tha, and somebody planned to have a store there. Uh, for normal coffee or donuts or other things, uh, sandwiches or जो लोग गुजरते हुए जाएं and they just have a break for two or five minutes or ten minutes and a quick lunch जो है वो अपना lunch या वो एक snacks का जो है वो pack लें और आगे निकल जाएं. Ideally, it was a very good place where a lot of people were crossing through that corner and uh, the entrepreneur identified that site as the best site for his this retail opening. For the for the snacks which he is, was going to sell to the different people coming there, while he came to the actual studied and actual uh, uh, determination and analysis of of the total area, he came across to the facts that this shop this place which he has already selected and he has already paid for the re advance rent, and uh, to him it is the most uh, prestigious or good place uh, to do this retail business. he came uh, across to the town planners of that area and they told him that this road has a divider in between you know that turn has a divider in between and one has to go 400 yards they have to drive and then they come back to you by taking a u turn but while practically looking at that that was a one way road and uh, there was a no u turn involved uh, Allowed in that uh, area, so practically, uh, koi bhi car jo us area mein thi directly enter nahi ho sakti thi unless until uh, koi uh, wahan se specially koi uh, us area mein sirf ek U turn banane ke liye jo hai uh, uski jo charm ke liye wo ek jagah select ki gayi. But later on, jab laws ko dekha gaya, town planning ko dekha gaya, and he really comes to the town authorities, to uh, he came to know that this is the most i mean neglected or most uh, it could be the most worst place for his retailing store ek chhota sa bilkul point hai jisko shayad hum bahut kam zehen mein rakhte hon while we are looking at here 
uh, we when we are talking about the business plan this document should have every segment very clearly written in it your marketing people your consumer area where you are living their buying power their racial group what kind of uh, purchasing power they have demographical jo aapka data hai wo ke kis kism ke log wahan us ilake mein rehte hain and what kind of uh, product you are selling there again if you are in a manufacturing concern you should have in your mind a different kind of marketing facilities available raw material facilities available your competitors in the market ke kon kon se hain at the same time two type of uh, products can hurt you one is the direct competition ke aap ek farz kiya x item banate hain aur uske muqable mein koi x item leke aata hai he is your direct competitor but the second competitor is the replacement contractor uh, competitor kis tarah se ke wo beshak wo cheez nahi banata jo aap banate hain main uski misal is tarah deta hu ki say you are manufacturing some kind of spray that uh, kills the mosquitoes maybe your competitor is the person who is manufacturing the same kind of spray uh, who is uh, for the mosquito killing but if a third party is there who's come with a coil uh, is not spray but is performing the same function which is uh, supposed to be done by a spray so he is your replacement competitor to aapne ye zehn mein rakhna hai ji ki competition jo hai uske andar mere direct competition kya ho sakta hai aur replacement competitors kaun se ho sakte hain then we have a very keen thing here that while we are looking at the domestic market and we are looking at the local market we are already looking at the people who are in the market directly facing us on the face of it aaj ke daur mein we have oh, our own example uh, in a country that we were having a very good market for the ceramic tiles and the people who were coming into this field the entrepreneurs they were just looking at the local market and the local manufacturers but all of a sudden we have lot of uh, due to the wto lot of uh, influx from the foreign countries for the cheaper ceramics although we have the best country in the world who has the best kind of uh, raw material for the ceramics but we faced for little time okay it was not a long time competition but our people uh, related to the ceramics they had a very hard time for certain uh, period and then uh, they entrepreneur have always the questions to adjust strategically according to the new challenges we had just to ho gaye lekin ek problem aa gaya so this is the base where you have to see that what kind of people are your competitors at front side or maybe they are the hidden competitors maybe they are the cheap importers or they are in front of you at some stage the business plan ke andar ye sari cheeze jo hain inse shuru ho ke आपको ये अट्रैक्शंस देखनी है जी कि रॉ मटेरियल जो है मे बी एट सम स्टेज देर आर सर्टन बार्टर और देर आर सर्टन बैरियर्स टू ट्रेड एंड यू आर नॉट एबल टू अवेल द सेम क्वालिटी और द सेम काइंड ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल इफ इट इज इम्पोर्टेड वन अगर लोकल है तो आपने रिसोर्स को देखना है कि दे आर परमानेंट और दे आर सफिशियंट फॉर द लाइफ ऑफ योर प्रोजेक्ट और इनके साथ जो है वो एक्सकेलेशन की क्लास जो है वो जरूर आपने देखनी है कि जी विद डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स इनके रेट्स जो है वो फ्यूचर में कहां तक पहुंचेंगे एंड अकॉर्डिंगली यू हैव टू मेक एडजस्टमेंट्स इन योर फाइनेंशियल प्लान्स हम यहां पे जो डिस्कस कर रहे हैं वी आर जस्ट डिस्कसिंग द बेसिक्स ऑफ अ प्लान इंट्रोडक्टरी बेसिक्स मेन एम विच 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 इज देयर फॉर एन एंटरप्रोर बिजनेस प्लानिंग इज दैट वी शुड हैव द टोटल इंटेग्रेशन ऑफ बिजनेस प्लान कि इसके कौन कौन से डिफरेंट पोर्शन है and uh, may i request this this every portion at its own place is very important portion feasibility hai initial feasibility hai uske baad uski information sources hai ye sare apni apni jagah pe bahut important hai hum apne agle lecture mein dekhenge ek ek function ko business plan ke discuss karenge uski jo hai nitty gritties ko discuss karenge aur ye dekhenge ki kis had tak aapko usme safely chalna chahiye aur information ke sources kya hain ummeed hai ये लेक्चर जो है आपको पसंद आया होगा अगर कोई डिफिकल्टी आपको इसमें फेस हो या कोई आप फील करें कि टर्मिनोलॉजी में कोई डिफिकल्टी हो हमें जरूर लिखिएगा 
اس کے ساتھ ساتھ یہ بھی گزارش ہے کہ جب آپ لیکچر سن لیں تو ضرور اس کو اپنی زبان میں جیسا بھی آپ لکھ سکیں ضرور لکھیں اس سے آپ کی جو پریکٹس ہے لکھنے کی وہ وکیبلری بڑھے گی خوب دل لگا کے پڑھیے اگلے لیکچر تک کے لیے میں آپ کو خدا حافظ کہتا ہوں